So first of all, I just want to say congratulations on this project. It looks so exciting. How excited are you for fans to finally get to see this? Very excited. Very. Yeah, yeah. We, it's been a year, you know, in, in the making since we were, it was this time last year that we were in Orlando. So we're, we're really excited. And what drew you to this project? I think it's such a fascinating story. I, for me, it was first the, the, the pilot script was one of the best things that I've ever read. Um, and um, the writing was exceptional throughout. Um, but then, you know, all of the little things that uh, when you're a kid, if you're, if you're wanting to be an actor, uh, we kind of got to check all of the boxes. I mean, go back in time, put on cool clothes, put on spacesuits, you know, I mean, it, it kind of fulfilled a, a childhood dream, um, as well as being one of the more nuanced looks at a very difficult and complicated time. And, um, you know, all those things together makes for, yes, I'll do it, please. In fact, pick me. <laughs> And how hands-on did you get, did you go on any type of training or how, how hands-on was that aspect of preparing for this, your roles? Well, James we went to space. No, yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> we had two weeks in Orlando before filming um, that uh, kind of gave us an, an, an insight into the world of a test pilot. And we got to sit in a cockpit and sort of uh, that, that bit was overwhelming because while it's in the book and uh, that, that these, that they were test pilots and, and that this was sort of the world that these families that were, were operating under and, and these risks and, and on, a, in a day, on a day to day basis. I think just being there for two weeks uh, at, uh, you know, in, in that environment was, um, was really helpful to sort of launch the, the experience. And could you each uh, kind of tease and tell a little bit about your character and what drew you specifically to your role in the film? Yeah, so um, I play Scott Carpenter, who was a commander in the, um, in the Navy, uh, in the test pilot. And um, he, flew, uh, he flew patrol and reconnaissance planes um, in the, uh, in the Korean war. And, uh, I was drawn to him because he kind of reminds me a little bit of my father. You know, he had, um, a little bit of a wayward youth and that he was, it took him a while to figure out what his calling was. He always knew that he wanted to be a pilot, but he sort of got distracted by other things. Um, and he was really passionate about starting his family. Um, so, you know, he, he was sort of taken all around the country doing sort of odd jobs before, he really landed in that role of, of military pilot and then um, and then, you know, and then eventually became a Mercury seven astronaut. And so in reading his biography, you know, I just I got really sort of attached to him because I feel like I have a sort of connection that I so I don't know, I feel like sort of like I came from something like that. And um, I can really I can I, I think I can really relate to, um, you know, knowing that you're meant for something and um, not knowing if you know, being okay with not knowing what exactly that is for a little while until it, until it sort of, you know, until you go get it or it falls in your lap. And then what about the two of you? Well, I, um, I, uh, it's funny, because like drawing me, I always feel so fortunate to get to work as an actor. So the thing that draws me is always <laughs> the, the opportunity to work on something and for it to be good is always like, uh, uh, I just, I always feel that, uh, as, a, as a, a fortunate thing, I don't take it for granted. So that's what drew me. Um, but, you know, in terms of why I, I, uh, I'm excited to play Wally and where I sort of relate, and he wrote a book, and I think he's a guy who under, under stress um, has a very quick release valve and, and, and finding sort of the lighter side of things, of, of a moment and in life. Not, he took things very seriously, but found a way to enjoy it and have fun. And, um, to, to, to get to sort of live in that skin and live in that environment was, 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 a, was something I really appreciate the opportunity and I hope I get to do it again. Um, yeah, you know, I, I didn't know much about um, Gus Grissom when, when I got the job. And I, and I think part of that was, was a nice propellant in, into getting to know, and then you reread the book and, and, and you, you see him painted a certain way and then we were fortunate enough, or at least I was to have enough time to kind of dig behind the surface and realize that uh, how he was portrayed was not necessarily the guy that I was, was um, coming to know. And I think it became exciting for me to kind of uh, do my best to paint him in a way that I felt um, was more truthful in line with, with the research that I did and, and the show 
um, because it's in a TV format and you do get eight, eight episodes, um, is able to spend more time with him and hopefully, you know, get the opportunity to kind of paint him in, um, in a way that, uh, previously hadn't necessarily been. And I, I relished that opportunity and look forward to it. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Quickly before I go, I just have to say congrats to James on your engagement. How are you feeling? That's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling wonderful. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's nice to, um, I don't know, make something positive out of such a crazy year. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier.